All right, so I'm going to be showing how to remove the side mirrors on the Tesla Cybertruck. Okay, so first you have this little cover here. All right, so we're going to disconnect it first. That way when we pull it up, we don't have to worry. So there's this little tab. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in a bit. I know there's not like a good viewing angle, but basically pull down on that tab and then you can pull this out. Basically like those TV remote controls that had the little tabs long time ago, now they just slide down, but there you go. And then this, you kind of pull up because it has this that hooks on there. So you, you lift it up to get that out. And now you have this access to this cable, all right? I'm gonna need a tripod to show you guys this, but this red piece, you need to um, pull this up. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a good being angle, but you get in there and you kind of just pull, slide that up. Yeah, it's hard to show this. Let me see. How can I show you guys this without? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Get in there and you gotta basically, yeah, I don't think I can show it. Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Okay, let's see if I can do this now. All right, so we got access to this. I'm gonna use my fingernail at the middle of the red tab, and I'm gonna try and pull that up. There you go, it slides up. Once you slide that up, now you can push on this um, little black tab here. So you can push this, and that will lift the clip here. And then when you lift that clip, you should be able to pull this whole thing out. <laughs> Hold on, the red one needs to slide up a little bit more. Okay, and then, push that tab and then when you push that I'm gonna hold down let me see if I can get a better view Oops. so I'm gonna hold the top down with my finger here and I'm gonna push this clip and pull that out okay I might have to wiggle it if you can't push this clip enough you might have to kind of like get underneath and pull pry it up instead but uh, let's try that okay do both sides. Oh, it keeps clipping itself back in. There we go. All right. So hopefully that was all visible. We're going to push that into the hole. Okay, now that that's in the hole, you can go ahead and get this and then put that bottom part in. Okay, just like that. And then the other side, you just kind of push it and it clips in okay so very easy to take out um, just a little bit a uh, little bit of room that's needed that makes it a little bit easier but uh yeah and then if you want to put it back you just pull that down and then you can swing that out slightly don't pull it out too far because you'll break that leg off then you can lift this up okay to pull that out you can go ahead and grab the cable back again and you basically just push it back in. So I'm not gonna put that back in because we're gonna be taking the whole mirror out, but I kinda just wanted to show you how easy it would be. There you go, okay. Next, we gotta remove the um, screws that are holding in, or bolts, or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so let me zoom out. Okay, so there's this rubber flap here. So we're basically gonna pull this. You can see there's a little part there that's um, getting caught so you got to go as close to there as possible and then you pull that out it comes out there's another one like up here so we're gonna pull that also also inside here on the side which I can't show too well because the trim the doors in the way um, and now the cameras in the way so it's hard for me to reach in but you pull that okay you can see and then go further up pull that Go further and also you can see how the little rubber goes underneath there and pull that and there you go very easy to access you can pull out more of it but you really only need to pull out that much so let me see if I can show you guys more close up okay so you have uh, one dimple there one there one there and one there okay and then we're gonna have to go get the tool for this um, I believe it's what a t30 or t40 so let me Go ahead and see here, okay? I'll get the tool and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. So what you're gonna need is a T40 or Torx 40, all right? It's okay if you have the security one, that works fine. And then you're gonna need um, like one of these 
torque wrench thingies, kind of, whatever you call these, ratchet. Um, because if you just use a screwdriver, it, these are super tight with these little blue washers, okay? So if you have a bigger one, you can use that. I have also an extension here. Um, basically, you just wanna get it started. Once you can kind of turn it, then you're okay. I did that one in advance, but let me show you like this one. It's super tight, okay? So put that in, and then I'm gonna push with my thumb here. It pulls my fingers down here. If you can pull like lower, you have more leverage, so you'll be better. So put your thumb there and then pull lower down here. Make sure you keep this pushed into the screw or bolt um, so it doesn't move. Um, and there you go. You can see we already got that out. All right, so you only need this piece for starting it. After that, you can use a screwdriver to spin it around faster. Um, I mean, you can keep using this if you want. Um, it'll just be slower, see? I mean, I can take this off and then I can just use this as a screwdriver handle and just twist that. You can see once you undo that starting bit, then it becomes a lot easier. But I'm gonna use a actual screwdriver so I can turn it faster, all right? I have this big screwdriver handle. All right, and if you're wondering, I did teleport to a different location. I brought a big tool kit, but it had mostly the, um, what do you call those? Like the, the ones for the nuts, the hex, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> it didn't have these kinds of Torx bits, all right? Anyways, we're just gonna undo this screw. This is what it looks like. So there's no thread locker or anything. They just use this blue portion and that blue portion, um, it basically acts like thread locker, like a giant um, washer that can kind of grip into the metal better. Okay, so we're gonna undo all three screws. I know my hand's in the way, but uh, you get the idea, just unscrew them. Okay, be careful not to hit the edge and area around here. You don't wanna kind of um, rub onto the rubber. That's pretty close to the screwdriver, so I'm just kinda warning you. I haven't done that, but <laughs> just wanted to let you know. Okay, also, um, that's the one from the top left. This is the uh, bottom one. They do look to be about the same, so. Um, when I like when I work on stuff, I like to put the screws back exactly where I got it from. So I'm gonna pull the mirror out, and then I'm gonna actually put it into this, uh, back into the mirror to hold itself in place. All right, I think it's gonna stay. One other thing I forgot to mention is um, the location where I was taking out the mirrors originally. Uh, the mirrors were actually folded in because I parked in a tight parking spot. So keep that in mind when you go to reinstall, if you ever reinstall the mirrors, that you do have the fold or unfold setting proper. Um, I don't know what will happen if you don't because the car apparently doesn't care that like I unplug the mirrors. Um, if I push fold unfold, it will keep that setting. So the car, it was showing the mirrors were folded and then the button was showing to unfold the mirrors. Um, so if you're not careful, I don't know if you have it unfolded and then you put it, uh, and then your car was changed to like unfold mode. Um, and then you were like basically doing the opposite. I don't know if it's gonna try and force it to go the opposite way, All right? So you can see it's folded right now, okay? And yeah, so this is the mirror. Let me actually just roll down the window so it's easier to work on here. Okay, so we got that. Okay, and now we're just gonna basically pull this up. I might need two hands for this. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. So let me put it back in the tripod, give me a second. Okay, there you go. And we're basically just gonna lift this out. So you probably get one hand underneath on this side and then from this side as well. And you kind of, oh, it like rocks up. Huh. I don't know if it's on a clip. I don't wanna, let's see. There is a clip actually. So there's a clip down here. So you actually wanna pinch that in. Okay, and when you pinch that in, you can see it goes up. Let me see if I can show you closer here. But uh, that came out. I don't know if there's a clip on the other side, but uh, let me show you closer if I can. Okay, so you see that? There's a little clip there. So you actually wanna push that inwards to unclip it from there. All right, let me get you guys back on the tripod. And I'm gonna do that. And then you wanna make sure you don't drop the thing. I'm gonna see, maybe I can sell this if I'm never gonna put it back, but I might need to keep it in case I get a fix it ticket and they want me to put it back on. All right. Is there a clip on the other side? I don't feel one, but it's not coming out easily. I've seen people just rip it up, but okay. Um, so there we go. We're just gonna kind of wiggle this and okay, it came out. So you have the cabling. Be careful not to like cut this on the inside. Again, this is kind of like rough, a little bit sharp, but yeah. Right, and that's pretty much it. There's the cable that 
we unplugged earlier. Okay. You can see. Come on, focus. You can see how they have the pins there. The wiring. If for some reason you're going to try and make a new cable or something. I don't know if this will be useful to anyone. Okay. And this is the bolt things. All right. I'm just going to put these again. I'm going to put the screws in there. I'm just going to like twist it a little bit by hand just to have them all together. And then you probably want to set this down somewhere soft so it doesn't get scraped up or anything. Okay. All right. So I'm just putting the screws here so I know where they came from. Um, and then you basically just need an insert like this. I'm going to go to a place where they're making that. Um, I don't know. They're making it in steel, but honestly, you can put anything as long as it just covers the hole and, and is flush. Um, it doesn't need to be like perfectly. Um, okay, it looks like this side has a clip right there, but yeah, you can't really access that from the outside. This clip you can, and then there's another like little. Oops, sorry, I can't even see. There you go. That thing slides in as well. I'll show you close up the inside. Give me a second. Let me set the mirror down. Okay, let me show you close up what the inside looks like. You have this little felt thing to prevent it from scraping up. Um, I'm assuming they're going to scrape this off or remove it when they put the little metal thing. And also if they're going to wrap the car, then they're going to have to have that out of the way. So yeah, all right, you can see in there. I don't know if there's anything down there you can see. Oh, you can see there's the plug, the other end of the plug that's attached to that door. And then the wire, that little door that we pulled out earlier. Come on, it's not going to focus, huh? I don't know if I can get it to focus when I zoom in that much. Alright, anyways, you get the idea. Not really much else. There's a hole there. And then, basically, to put it back, it's very simple. You just drop it back in, and it will click into place. Um, nothing complicated. And then you just bolt in the screws there and there. Maybe I should show that. Give me a second. All right, so I forgot to show this as well. There's a little label here with the QR code. Maybe that will help some people, part numbers, maybe. If you break yours, you can know what to search. Okay, so hopefully that's useful. Okay, anyways, if you were gonna put this back, you basically just drop this wire back down there. Okay, and you just slowly lower it back into the hole. You'll wanna actually get this side down first, okay, because that has that clip that you can't do anything about. So we're going to kind of go at an angle and we're going to get this in. Okay. Once you get that in, then you can go ahead and wiggle this side down. Okay. Just like that. And the clip is now kind of holding it in place. And then you just put the three bolts. Very simple. All right. That's it. So I'm going to pop this back out again. Again, you push that clip in and then you can kind of pull that up. Be careful with the wiring and yeah, the wiring harness also or wiring cable or whatever also has this squishy foamy stuff on there to keep it um, nice, I guess. I don't know. It's probably so it doesn't rattle around because if it start if the wires like wiggle around in there, then it can make noise. So I think that's why they added that. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and push the rubber thing back in. Now that I'm here, I can actually show you closer, I guess. You can see how these little things work. It's just like these little rubber stopper things so you just get that line it up with the hole push that in you can see how it pops in all right so there's four one up there there's one down there in that hole like where I'm holding here okay so just line it up and then sorry it's hard to do this well where is it it's like right behind the trim that hole okay that in. It's hard to do that while trying to record because I gotta feel around for it. Is that in right? Go. Sorry, it's there. We go. Okay, you do want to make sure that this wraps around this nicely, and then you got the two on the sides up here. Okay, usually this tucks underneath the mirror, um, but since we don't have the mirror anymore, we're gonna have that sticking up. Okay. You can see the dimples already lined up there. And then there's one lower down here. Actually, did I already get them all? Okay, I think I already got them all. All right, and that's pretty much it. So you basically do the same exact thing on the other side. And yeah, not really much else to it. I'm gonna move the tripod out of the way, close the door, and show you what it looks like.
Okay, so there you go. Now you have this giant hole. Um, when you go to actually get a metal piece here, you do want to get like some kind of trim that matches, okay? Because otherwise you have this ugly, just this ugly rubber here. It'll be like this, and then you just have this like little gap there, and there it looks kind of weird, um, especially since this is all part of the door. So yeah, you do want to try and find a little rubber piece that goes across like that. All right, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye.